hello guys welcome back to my channel so the last update about the shutter version of this is fate raja's men and raja with pretty owed the lutra family and the entire guest captive on rishab and prita's wedding anniversary so let's continue Pritfi and Raja's men owe the entire Lutra family and the guests captive during Rishab and Prita's wedding anniversary party. Pritfi threatens to kill them if they try to act smart and Pritfi orders Raja's men to snatch everyone's phones from them. Rishab asks that what do the goons want and they would give them whatever they want but they shouldn't hurt anyone. Pritfi says that everyone ate the anniversary cake but he has not eaten so they should bring the cake. Aujun, who was not at the party before Pritfi owed everyone captive, enters the kitchen. Prita was not downstairs when everyone were held captive as well, so Prita also goes to the kitchen. But Prita quickly turns back and she hides after seeing Aujun in the kitchen. Aujun goes to the fridge and he drinks water. Prita hides and she continues to watch what Aujun is doing in the kitchen. Aujun goes to the cabinet and he takes the dry fruit jar and he adds some cashews. After that, Aujun takes an apple and he throws it up just like Karan usually do. Prita was shocked seeing everything that Aujun is doing. Prita enters the kitchen and she asks that why is Aujun roaming around in the kitchen as if this is his house. Prita asks that how did Aujun know everything about their kitchen and where they kept things in the kitchen when Aujun is just a stranger in their house. Aujun refused to answer Prita and he is about to leave but Prita holds his hand to stop him. Prita asks Aujun to answer a question before he goes. Downstairs, Pritfi eats the cake and he asks the Lutras that why are they staring at him. Pritfi feeds cake to Raja. Rishab looks around and he thinks that he is happy that Prita, Aujun and Kavya are not downstairs, so they are safe. Samru silently tells Mayesh that Shruti is not downstairs, so where could she be? Mayesh says that he is happy that at least Shruti is safe wherever she is. Raja says that one girl is missing from the people that are downstairs and everyone was shocked. In the kitchen, Aujun tells Prita that he thought that Prita is intelligent but he was wrong and he was always wrong about Prita and Aujun remembered seeing Prita pushing him into the river. Aujun tells Prita that he has come to the kitchen many times today and his memory power is strong so he knows where exactly everything is kept in the kitchen. So why is Prita questioning him? Aujun asks Prita if he can eat the apple at least. Prita says that Aujun is their guest for today, so he can eat, and Prita angrily leaves from there. And Aujun decided not to eat the apple again, and he follows Prita. Kavya comes running to Prita, and Kavya says that Uncle Mohan is unconscious in a room. Aujun asks Prita that who is Mohan. Prita tells Aujun that Mohan is their servant, and Mohan and Girish works together in the kitchen. Aujun asks that when do they hire Mohan and he did not know. Prita is shocked at Aujun's question but Aujun asks Prita not to worry. Kavya says that Mohan's mouth is tied up. Prita tells Kavya to hide in her room until she comes back and Kavya runs to her room while Aujun and Prita goes to check Mohan in the room that Kavya pointed to. Downstairs, Pritfi notices that Prita is not among the people they hold captive. Pritfi says that Prita is missing. And Raja says that another girl is missing apart from Prita, and Aujun and Anjali are also missing as well. Pritfi gets frustrated and he asks that why are the Lutras making things complicated for him and why are everyone missing? Prita was shocked looking from upstairs that the family are held captives downstairs. Rishab sees Prita and Rishab was trying to alert Prita to go back. Aujun who was holding Prita also sees everything that is going on and Aujun drags Prita from there before Pritfi sees Prita. Pritfi tells Raja to go upstairs and check because something is fishy. The Lutras begins to argue with Pritfi saying that there is nobody upstairs. Mayesh threatens to call the police and Pritfi tells Mayesh that they have fixed the phone jammers and nobody will be able to make call because there is no network. Pritfi pushes Mahesh and Karina got angry and she also pushed Pritfi as well. Pritfi is about to eat Karina but Rishab eats Pritfi and the entire Lutra family begins to fight with the goons. While fighting with Rishab, Pritfi throws a vase at Rishab but Rishab dodges the vase and it breaks Karan's photo instead and the flower garland falls off Karan's photo. Prita wanted to go downstairs and help the family but Aljun drags Prita to a room. Prita asks that what is Aljun doing because she wants to go downstairs and help her family. 
Aljun says that the people downstairs are also his family as well. So what is Prita saying? Prita is shocked to hear what Aljun said. So Aljun quickly changed his statement and says that he considered Anjali as part of his family and Anjali is also downstairs. Aljun says that the goons have guns and they can shoot, but Prita doesn't have any weapon. Aljun and Prita begins to argue and Aljun refers to Prita as a tantrum queen, but Prita asks Aljun to call her as Prita and Aljun angrily says, okay, Mrs. Prita Karan Lutra. Prita is shocked to hear Aljun calling her as Prita Karan Lutra. Aljun says that now, Prita will still argue with him that that is not her name. Prita feels sad and says that Prita Karan Lutra was her name before, but no more talking now because her family is in danger and she has to save them. Aljun asks Prita not to worry because he would save everyone. Grandma and her friend comes to the room and Grandma's friend begins to praise Aljun and Prita, saying that they are looking really good together and she blesses them. Grandma asks her friend to stop her nonsense because Prita and Aljun are not couples. Grandma tells her friend that Prita is Rishab's wife and Aljun is just their guest and Grandma's friend apologizes for her misunderstanding. Sherlyn comes to the party all in disguise and she sees the Lutra family is fighting with Prithvi, Raja and his men. Sherlyn asks everyone to stop fighting and she threatens that she will shoot them if anyone move. Sherlyn asks the Lutras to give their jewelries to her. Raki refused to give her jewelry. Kavya comes there and Sherlyn tries to hold Kavya but Rishab holds Kavya instead. Sherlyn drags Kavya with her and Rishab asks Sherlyn not to arm Kavya. Sherlyn says that she wants Kavya's necklace. Raki says that they can take jewelries from her room and she pleaded with the goons not to arm Kavya. Sherlyn tells Raki that she has already stolen all the jewelries from Raki's room but she wants more jewelry so everyone should remove their jewelry and give it to her. In the room, Aljun tells Prita and Grandma with Grandma's friend to stay in the room and enlist from there saying that he would handle the situations downstairs. Prita asks Grandma to stay in the room with her friend and Prita also leaves the room. Aljun notices that someone is following him and Aljun is about to attack Prita assuming that she is one of the goons but he stops saying that it is Prita. Aljun asks that where is Prita going to? Prita tells Aljun that she is going downstairs. Aljun tells Prita that many goons are downstairs with guns and knife so what will Prita be able to do? Prita asks Aljun not to underestimate her because she would save her family at any cost. Downstairs. Kavya refused to give her necklace to Sherlyn, saying that the necklace is her favorite necklace. Raki asks Sherlyn to leave Kavya alone, but Sherlyn keeps on holding Kavya. Kavya bites Sherlyn's hand and she runs away from there, but Prithvi catches Kavya and he carries Kavya in his arm. Rishab asks Prithvi not to arm Kavya. Prita looks from upstairs and she sees that one of the goons is holding Kavya, and this got Prita angry. Prita asks Prithvi to drop Kavya down and Prita runs downstairs. Aljun, who was trying to stop Prita from going downstairs, gets shocked seeing Prita running downstairs. Anjali comes to Aljun and tells him that she is ready to attack the goons. Anjali shows the knife to Aljun, saying that they will both attack the goons with the knives. Prita comes downstairs and she pleaded with Prithvi to leave Kavya alone. Sherlyn thinks that she wants to see if Prithvi still has feelings for Prita or not, and she would see if Prithvi would drop Kavya. Prithvi gets emotional seeing Prita after five years and Prithvi gives Kavya to Prita. Sherlyn gets shocked seeing that and Sherlyn looks at Prithvi in anger. Prithvi realizes what he has done after seeing Sherlyn's angry face. Aljun, who was looking from upstairs, wonders why Prithvi gave Kavya to Prita so easily. Prithvi realizes that he would be in trouble with Sherlyn for leaving Kavya. So Prithvi quickly drags Kavya from Prita again and Prithvi holds the knife near Kavya's neck. Aljun gets angry seeing Prithvi holding Kavya with knife on her neck, so Aljun runs downstairs with the decorative piece in his hand. Aljun throws the decorative piece at Prithvi and he begins to beat Prithvi up. As Aljun was slapping and beating Prithvi, Risha was also holding and beating Prithvi and the entire Lutra family started beating the goons once again. Prithvi falls down and he thinks that he cannot let his plan fail at any cost, so he sees a gun on the floor and he takes the gun. Prithvi stands up and he shoots the gun in the air and everyone panics. Prithvi threatens everyone not to move, but before Prithvi could turn, the entire Lutra family has gone upstairs and they lock themselves in a room. Okay guys, thank you so much guys for watching. Please don't forget to like this video, share it, and I'll see you all again in my next video. Bye guys.